And new tonight, today marked six months since Alejandro Fajardo Torres was shot and killed at an auto zone near Polaris. Police say he was shot and killed while trying to stop a robbery inside that store. Today, his family gathering to remember his life. 10 TV's Tara Jabor was there and joins us in our studio tonight. Tara, what did that family have to say? Well, Colin, the Fajardo family says the last six months have been difficult. Today, they all met up to remember Alex and talk about what is next for the family and seeking justice for his life. The Fajardo family says things haven't been the same since Alex was killed in August. You know, he's the middle child and kind of we always knew he was the one, the glue, but I didn't really realize how much until he was gone. Alex left behind an 11 year old boy, Alexander, who was his world. Alexander has cerebral palsy and his sister Sylvia says Alex committed his life to helping him physically and emotionally. Alex and his son both love superheroes. He idolized Superman and now he's going to go down as, as one and, and that's all we're trying to show here with my nephew. And Alex was also a friend to so many. John Butler knew Alex his whole life, and he says Alex was the type of guy who would do anything for you. First reaction was I was absolutely heartbroken because he was gone, but it really didn't surprise me um, that he had stepped up and tried to do the right thing and, and tried to help somebody. He wants people to know that Alex was one of a kind. Never forget Alex. Uh, it just, the world lost a great human being and a great person. Uh, it, it, this world could use more people like Alex in it. Three men have been arrested and charged in Alex's case. Selvia says they want justice for Alex. These people who did this crime maybe didn't have the intention of, of what happened, but someone lost their lives. She says she feels relief that people have been arrested and they hope one day to have closure. This 11 year old kid who depended so much physically on his father, emotional support is not going to be here. And I think it's just for the other people who, who took part in this to, to have that same because we're never going to get him back. And the three men charged in Alex's case all pleaded not guilty. They have trials coming up in April and May. Reporting live in the studio, Tara Jabor, 10TV News.